there's a lot of hustle and bustle because the integration is in full process. Just look at NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Its gold mirrors are definitely its most stunning feature. And yeah, that's real gold. Humans have a long history of searching for gold and using it in their most prized possessions. These mirrors weren't gilded to make them pretty. There isn't even all that much gold, about five men's wedding rings worth over the 18 mirrors. So I wanted to see for myself, why does it make sense to use a microscopic layer of gold on these mirrors? So our everyday mirrors tend to use silver or aluminum as their reflective material. One of the major differences between our earthly mirrors and these fancy optical mirrors is the position of the reflective material. Look at the side of this small mirror. It has the glass in the front and the metal coating behind it. That glass actually traps a tiny amount of light and creates what we call a ghosting effect. So the clearest reflection that we can actually have has the metal coating on the front. Dentists and hygienists also use front surface mirrors to get an accurate look at your teeth. The position of the reflective coating might make a sharp observation, but the kind of metal also matters too. There are a couple of reflective materials that really excel at reflecting infrared light, which is how Webb will observe. Aluminum reflects 85% of that wavelength of light, silver up to 95%, and gold up to 99% of all the infrared light that it encounters. But gold is special, and I can show you using the rings that I typically wear. This one is gold, and this one is, is made out of silver. And in the presence of the right chemicals, these two materials react differently. I think actually it's a little easier to show kind of all of this with this spoon. My mom surprised me by pulling out this whole tub of silver. Not tub, it came out of a box. So I'm able to demonstrate sort of on a bigger surface here how silver can react differently using an egg. Smush that in. <laughs> Get nothing. We've got nothing. So what we have is a really fast reaction between the sulfur and the egg and the silver, and it creates a new thin layer on the spoon of silver sulfide. Silver might be great at reflecting infrared light, but it tarnishes so easily. Not only does gold reflect more infrared light, but it is also one of the most unreactive metals. It is too durable to oxidize and decay in space, and it is certainly Webb's best chance at seeing the cosmos.